Solitude Valley. There's a reason they call it. It's not a single road, house, person, anything out here. And not gonna lie, it's exactly what I was looking for. Well, we've made it to the Peterson Range here. It's a new area for me to explore, but everything looks like it's just beautiful. I mean, wouldn't expect to find this out here. Um, so we've made it as far as we can in the Jeep. Sign back here says that all the roads are closed to help preserve the environment, so we're certainly going to aim to do that. And it's the last that we're going to see the Jeep here for a little while. As you can see, we've got some pretty ominous clouds that uh, have resulted in some spontaneous sprinkling. We'll see how that turns out for us. And the wind is actually pretty awful. Um, I imagine it's not going to get better as we go up higher, but you know what? If you wait for the perfect conditions, you're never going to be able to go anywhere. So the beginning of this trail is really not much of a trail, but... I see a pretty cool looking spring up the hill a little ways. I think I'm going to head for that, see what it looks like, and uh, let you guys know if I find anything cool. to the top of the first ridge and uh, it's raining. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see how this pans out. I think it'll be fine though. part of the trail was pretty rough. Uh, wind has definitely kicked up up here and just when I thought well maybe I'm not on the trail I realized there's one of the birdhouses and uh, that's supposed to be a sign that we're on the right track so I guess we're just going to keep on going. I think I'm going to find a spot to get shelter from the uh, wind here real quick and see if I can cook up some lunch. I'll uh, check back with you guys.
second birdhouse. The second part wasn't nearly as bad. The first one is basically straight up. It's not a lot of fun. The second part though has a nice little uh, Jeep trail that you follow and it's really overgrown, but it is accessible. So that's where we just came from. Not sure if you can see it right where that saddle is right there. That was where the last birdhouse was. So that's about how far you're traveling before you get to the next one. Got Lola in the background. Saw a deer earlier, didn't get the camera out in time, but she was just confused. She did not know what to make of it. She stared at it and by the time she figured out what it was, it had run off up the hill. But hoping to catch up because there's a few spots here that I think that they might want to hang out. So looking forward to checking that out. Anyway, uh, still haven't really found a great spot out of the wind to make some food, but when I do, I'll get back in touch with you. Catch you later. You doing better than me, puppy? So, after the second birdhouse, the trail is much easier to follow. Um, it's a very clear game trail, and it's uh, pretty steep. Um, I'm actually here taking a breather because uh, it's uh, getting tired. But you can start to see that we've gained some elevation. You can actually see some of the residential areas that are just a few miles from this spot. It's funny to think that there's this hike so close to the city, but it's so little traveled. Um, the road to get in here is pretty rough, so, so I guess I get that. And the trail's not easy, but there's a nice payoff here. This is a beautiful spot. to the next birdhouse. This one has another landmark as well. We've got this cool water trough here and just continuing up the ridge is the trail behind me. So let's check it out. a spot. It's been coined Solitude Valley by Benjamin Spillman. Um, he's actually the reason why I'm on this hike. He uh, emailed me how to get here and he also uh, linked me to an article that he wrote about this trail in particular. Uh, so I will actually go on ahead and throw a link to that article in the description because he was an inspiration for me to do this hike and part of the reason why I'm doing this channel and uh, I definitely think that you should check it out, read it. It has some good instructions on how to get here as well as uh, some details about the trail that are pretty interesting. So definitely check that out.
might be wearing a rainproof jacket, but the puppy is not. So we're gonna start heading back. Uh, in fact, we're actually already uh, out of Solitude Valley. It started hailing on us. So didn't do too much videoing in the hail, but it's time to get the pup back to the car, get her dry, and uh, we'll uh, touch base with you there. But we're just gonna haul down and uh, get off this mountain because the weather is changing on us. Catch you guys in a minute. Pup is not excited about getting rained on. It's like, let's go home. All right, thanks for joining us on this adventure up to Solitude Valley. So, had a blast, got rained on a bit, but still had a lot of fun. It was really cool to explore that new area. So, uh, really excited to do a little bit more up there and really check out all those different peaks and valleys that are out here. Uh, certainly want to do an overnight out there as well. I think that that might be a good location for it. And so, please remember to like and subscribe. That way you don't miss any of the adventures. Guess who discovered the heated seats? Hey Lola, you tired? <laughs>